Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about finite automata. Finite automata is a finite state machine. Now, what is a finite state machine? A machine whose number of states is finite is a finite state machine. For example, a bulb. A bulb has only two states. It can either be in on state or in off state. So, it has finite number of states. So bulb is a finite state machine. Now see, when bulb is in on state and we apply input through switch, it jumps to off state. And when it is in off state and we apply input through switch, it jumps to on state. So to describe a finite automata, we must describe its states, the inputs it can read, its transitions, its initial state and its final states. Now there are two types of finite automata. One is TFA, deterministic finite automata and other is NFA. Here we will study only TFA. Now suppose there is a TFA M. So it can be defined by a quintuple Q sigma delta Q naught F. Where Q is a finite set of states of DFA M. Sigma is a finite set of input symbols which this DFAM can read. Q0 is the initial state of DFAM. A finite automata must have only one initial state. Right? Now, F is the set of final states. Right? F is the set of final states of DFAM. A finite automata must have at least one final state, right? Delta is the transition function of TFA M. Now see. This function, this transition function takes two input, present state and a input symbol, right? And gives output the next state right it means its output would be the next state in which the DFA will be after reading the input symbol which is its second argument from the present state which is, is the first argument, right? Now see, it would be clear now. It would become more clear after this example. Suppose machine, there is a finite automata, some uh, DFA, right? There is a DFA. Now there is a transition in that DFA. When machine is in a state Q1 and it reads input A, it jumps to state q2 then this transition can be expressed by transition function as delta q1 a equals to q2 it means when the present state of machine is q1 and it reads an input symbol a then its next state will be q2 right when it is in state q1 it reads an input symbol a then it will jump to state Q2. Right. Thank you very much.